What I want to share with you tonight is something that will affect your life directly or indirectly in the near future. So let's remember Tesla's words. What will men do when the forest disappears, when the coal reserves are exhausted? Well, maybe we should ask the question, what has mankind done and what can mankind do? In the timeline history of mankind, there have been two breakthroughs amongst all the bright ideas that were pivotal milestones in human evolution. As we can see, whenever it was technologically and economically possible, electricity has replaced fossil fuels. Electricity has become central to human life. Without electricity, we would have no modern medicine, no internet, PCs or smartphones, and, well, no TEDx conference. For the past 50 years, electric trains have been the norm. For the past 10 years, electric cars have been developed. But what about airplanes? So what does the airline industry actually represent? Well, in 2011, the airline industry emitted 676 million tons of CO2, which is roughly equivalent to 1.5 billion barrels of oil, or almost the consumption of 85 million homes. So the airline industry itself is conscious of this problem. It aims at reducing by 50% these emissions by 2050 compared to 2005. My goal is to reach zero emission. What do you think about an airline industry free of fossil fuel and that doesn't need a drop of oil? So what would be the advantages? Well, let's take for a moment the obvious ecological advantage out of the equation. The first advantage would be security. If we use solid batteries in case of the, an accident, there's no risk of everything going up in flames. Then we have the diversity and flexibility of source. Electricity can be produced from a number of different sources, be it with gas, windmills, or dams. Then we have the price. At the same efficiency, the fuel price can go down 30%. Considering that the fuel price represents a third of the operating cost, the economy is huge, and passengers will benefit from it. Furthermore, the system I'm proposing can be retrofitted, so there would be no need to replace all the engines. Some people told me that's a great idea, that's a great dream, but it's impossible. Sometimes people are going to tell you that something is impossible. Don't let this stop you. So let's play a game. It's called the Columbus X puzzle. Some of you might know it already. For those who don't, here are the rules. You have nine dots that have to be connected by four lines. So you might try this out and think it's very easy, but you'll find out that it's much more difficult. You might even think that it's impossible. So here are some solutions you might try. Or considering you're in Geneva, you might go for G. However, all these solutions have five lines, so they are not OK. If you want to find a solution, you have to think outside the box. Thinking outside the box means not to get blocked by what seems impossible and to find new and innovative solutions. The team of Solar Impulse, whose goal was to create a solar-powered aircraft, is a great example for that. Solar Impulse achieved the feat of staying 24-7 in the air without the need of refueling. They had taken up the challenge of breaking up frontiers. It was really amazing and very inspiring, but I wanted to go further. If you want to have reasonable commercial use, you have to achieve higher speeds. Would you want to stay in an airplane for 40 hours instead of eight to do a flight from Paris to New York? Well, I wouldn't. If you want to achieve higher speeds, you have to use electrical jet engines. So how does a jet engine work? Well, basically, you take air, you compress it, heat it up in the combustion chamber by burning kerosene, expand it, accelerating the air, and creating thrust. So we see the change has to happen where the fuel is burned in the combustion chamber. So what do you need to create an electrical jet engine? Well, we need two things. First thing is uh, batteries with enough energy density. Energy density is how much energy you can put per kilogram of battery. Then we need to find a way to create 
the heat in the combustion chamber. We don't change the way the engine works, just the way the heat is created in the combustion chamber. Uh, the energy density of battery has risen exponentially from the old lead acid batteries to the modern lithium air batteries. These batteries, who has the same energy density as kerosene, will be available in a few years' time. Research is also focusing on a new architecture that will radically change restore energy. Those batteries are called all electron batteries. So now, how do you create the heat? Well, like in the light bulb, the easiest way to create heat is by letting current flow through a conductor. However, for the large amount of heat needed for a jet engine, very large heating elements would be needed and prone to failure. So, when in a thunderstorm, it struck me, the idea, not the lightning. Why not use the air itself as a conductor? After some research, it turns out such a device already exists. It's called an arc jet and used in space for satellites. Using an electrical arc, however, is much more difficult than it sounds. For reasonable use in an atmospheric environment, I had to solve problems of efficiency and instability. Some solutions I came up with cause other problems. You have to keep working and be imaginative. After my theoretical work was done and the assurance that the project was bulletproof, I filed a patent in August of this year for an electrical jet engine that I called Turbo Arc Jet. So what does this patent mean? Well, it means that up until now, we had electrical propeller engines. Now we're going to have electrical jet engines. So what does it mean for you? Well, your next flight, for example, from Paris to New York on your 747 will be powered by batteries, and you won't even notice it. Right now, a dedicated team of engineers is being assembled to create a prototype that will be up and running within five years. By 2020, I hope that the airline industry will have changed to a green, safe, and cost-effective propulsion system. Only future itself will tell if the airline industry is ready to think outside the box. <laughs>